Let's drink some Chardonnay. One number one. Uh, this looks like Chardonnay. Uh, I'm just gonna point out if the, like, all the wines look pretty much the same. Hi to this camera. Hi to this camera. I'm back. You're welcome. It's like a Christmas gift. This will probably come out after Christmas, but Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Slightly hotter than the Chardonnay smell that I typically like. It feels like it's gonna have this sort of like oak that's been in a bushfire as opposed to oak that's been lathered in honey, uh, honey and butter. Well, I've lost the ability to swirl wine. Now we're back. Definitely like bright and sprightly acid. De definitely feels quite green in that aspect, like kind of more on that real citrus forward style Chardonnay rather than into that kind of stone fruit or even into those kind of riper tropical fruits. Really lean in that kind of lighter aspect, which is really good fun. Acid's great in check. Uh, on the palate, it, you can pick up the aromatics of the oak more so than you can in the palate. Oh, that's yummy. <laughs> some tasty shit. It's like a party. That's so good. It's like a little bit of texture, but not too much. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I think the kids call that flinty. Um, by the kids, I mean Noah. I think it's Aussie off the bat. Really, really appealing. Uh, a little bit of phenolic grip, so I think there's a good chance that it's had a bit of old oak due to it. I think it's a daily driver kind of style Chardonnay. I'm gonna get half a dozen. I'm gonna hope to pay 35 bucks. It tastes expensive, but it also tastes a bit like goon, but like expensive goon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at uh, $38. That's all I've got. <laughs> all right, one number two. It's got bubbles in it, but I don't think it's gonna be spark. Nah, it's not gonna be sparkling. It's not sparkling. It, it can't be. Great texture. Got this lovely little extra kind of, there's been some mayo use in here, I reckon. It's just added this extra little bit of creamy yogurtiness to the, to the whole blend, which adds a, like a nice kind of rounder palette shape. That's really yummy too. That's like, it even it's, it's almost like a splice. It's sort of like pineapple, citrus, but also sort of creamy. And I don't know why, but I don't dislike it. I think that's really, maybe I'm a Chardonnay gal. Wow, compare the pair. Um, that has got bugger all flavor in it. That is like water-like. I wouldn't have guessed that Chardonnay if we were doing this without having been told they're all Chardonnays. As a result, I think it's probably not Aussie um, because I'm quite familiar with Australian Chardonnays having grown up watching Kath and Kim and with parents that were born in the 1950s. So we're sort of ingratiated into that wine drinking culture from an early age. This doesn't taste like the stuff that I was drinking. Mm, very, very elegant. Quite like it. It does have that nice kind of yo play character too. Um, I'm gonna go, I reckon this someone's made this pretty restrained from a cool region. I'm, I'm gonna go tazzy for this one. I'm gonna say 50 bucks. Really beautiful wine. It's actually growing on me the more and more I drink it. Um, I think there's a lot of complexity here that'll take a long time to develop. I think it's one to sit down and age for a bit, but really cool little wine. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's $42 because it looks more expensive. It's a little bit prettier. It's a little less golden, a little more green. Again, it's really giving pine lime splice. I hope that's not copyrighted. It probably is, but uh, please don't send us a cease and desist. <laughs> Number three, color, nothing to note. Definitely down more on the tropical end. We're moving more into the kind of peaches zone. A bit of apricot there. Again, totally different. These are all so, like, like so different, it's bizarre. Like this smells like, like tree sap, like wood. It's woody. I don't, again, I think that could be oak. Maybe it's oak. It tastes how it smells. Maybe like the assembly furniture of Ikea isn't the perfect way of describing it, but more like um, dusty, back of closet. It's like smoked wood. Yeah, definitely more tropical, definitely more right. I reckon this could be like an Adelaide Hills little number, um, but I think this, again, I feel this feels like another really good value kind of proposition. So delicious. Dude, that's so cool. Again, it's like quite acidic and quite textural, but not in a way that I'm finding offensive, like I often do with acidic wine. It's kind of like a Porsche Cayenne, like it's cool, but I just don't want one for myself. Like I get it, but, so I'll probably have one. Uh, it's like a 35 buck Adelaide Hills kind of kind of doozy. It's got that nice kind of banana, um, like banana lolly character, which is like, you know, just that really estery kind of nature. Then it's those like wonderful stone fruit things, great acid, good minerality, really, really good, like medium style, um, medium body, just like real balanced example of Chardonnay. Again, nothing too overt. Sour lolly. That's so much fun. I'm going to say that's 50, 
52 dollars because that tastes like an expensive wine something from New Zealand and it will be like the final four of a rugby league world cup really reaching for that reference I don't know that much about league but the last time I remember it, it could be English but English don't make wine now we're talking reductive but why I, I will always kind of say I accept reduction in white wines far more than I do in red wines wine number four it's giving swamp it's giving green it's quite like it's do the old <laughs> Straight up, no. Straight up, no. I'm hoping that when I come back and taste this with Gemma and Noah, that it's changed a little bit. It's like, I guess there's those, there's like nuttiness to it. I get that, like there is that, but on the nose, man, I just can't go past it. This is my kind of style in that Chardonnay verse, where it's really opulent, really rich, but those kind of flinty extra characters are so up my alley. I just, I really enjoy this style. Some people would hate it because it is too reductive, but I actually really, really like it. I love that kind of real struck match character, the whole thing. Super, super yummy. Yeah, not my favorite though. It smells cooler than it drinks. It's not as like bright and fun and fruity and refreshing. It, it, no, it, it does taste how it smells. It tastes like a forest floor. Don't make it smell like that. It's bad. No one likes that smell. People don't make perfume like that. Farts. Just farts, dude. Oh, yeah. All day. All day ref. I think if you decanted that and drank it a few hours later, you'd be on. I think it's banging. Albania. Where really is gross. Albania? Oh, no, it is in Europe. Oh, Where is it? but it's like coastal. I'm going to say it's from Albania and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say it's $32. Okay, this doesn't smell like Chardonnay, but it smells like something I'd be more inclined to drink. This really doesn't smell like Chardonnay, actually. I think this is going to be our last uh, non-Aussie wine of the lineup. That white peach has got this almond blossom, almond kernel thing. So I think there's a bit of extra extraction here. It smells pretty cool. Yeah, banana lolly is really, again, sticking out here as well. Lactones. It smells like milk. Five. But also a bit like farts. Like milky farts. But very very creamy like when someone like steeps a bag of spices in milk it smells like cinnamon and, and clove but steeped in milk clean easy drinking uh, if i got this at a pub and i'd ordered a chardonnay and they were like here's a glass of house chardonnay fantastic that's sort of ticking some of the boxes it's not the most incredible example that i've ever seen yeah i don't mind that I don't mind that at all. I think that's a really cool little um, swaffer style Chardonnay. Again, nothing too serious. I feel like we've, we've spotted the fancy boy amongst the, the cat amongst the pigeon, so to speak. Whoa, whoa. Smells like milk, tastes like straight honey. It just is honey. But like, it's there's this like, I don't know, this this really like bright, like underripe white nectarin, just really, really tart, but really like bright and fresh. That's sort of cool. I'm gonna say that's from Australia. I've just had a thought that these could all be really expensive. Uh, nice pub, Shardy. Just the vibes that I'm getting at the moment, I think I'm gonna be really wrong about a lot of things. So the fact I've called it a nice pub, Shardy, I'm gonna say that this is really expensive. This is a $75 bottle. Yeah, I really like the extra interest that's going on here. I reckon there's been a lot of um, leaf stirring here because it's built up a nice kind of nutty character to it. And then like almond kernel thing is really adding some extra complexity. There's like this whole meal bread savoring this cool thing going on there. I reckon this might be from, uh, from WA. And last one, back to kind of more normal looking Chardonnay. This is kind of, it almost feels like the confluence of all of the wines that we've tasted. It's, kind of, it's got leasiness, it's got a bit of oak, it's not, it's got a whiff of reduction in that mineral thing, but it's all, all very restrained as well. And by process of elimination, it means this one's not from Australia and this one, this could bring everything undone because if I don't think this is not from Australia, we're starting again. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's really easy drinking. Um, it's probably not, it's, uh, so like my favorite style of Chardonnay is really extreme on the buttery curve and this sort of really wholesome oak sort of thing. So like, it's not the sort of Chardonnay that I expect everyone to like. I love that. I think that's gonna age beautifully too. Uh, I don't think it's too expensive. I'm gonna say 65 bucks. Like, not too expensive in the realms of Chardonnay, I would point out. $65 is kind of mid-price, uh, particularly for domestic uh, Chardonnay. But it is giving this, like, rock melon honeydew thing, but then it's just ruined. It's ruined by the amount of acidity. Unfortunately, it can't be Aussie. God, it's probably not going to be another Argentinian or South African. Let's call it French. It's 
time that the French stepped in. Um, middle of the road, crowd pleaser. But yeah, I really like that. I think it's just got such pretty detail to it. The acidity is just lovely. The texture is excellent. It's just like, oh yeah, it's just so perfectly put together. Like, it's like kind of like those first few wines, like the the, the first two wines, I think. P, um, and that will be, I mean, it's French Chardonnay, so it's gonna be $60 a bottle. I don't think I have gotten anything remotely correct there, but you never know, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens, see what the other guys think. I'm only welcome when someone's missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a real substitute teacher attitude on you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, hey. We got six wines, they are all Chardonnays. And slay. some of them sucked. What did you guys think? Did you uh, have the time? Dude, I had a hoot so, with this lineup. Some of them just straight balls. Yeah. But some of them were so great and I really wasn't expecting to like them. Yeah. Uh, I think this was the great kind of gambit of Chardonnay. There's like one in kind of almost every single style of a, a dry still sparkling, a dry still Chardonnay. And I thought it was just, I thought it was great. I really liked all of them. There were some that were real highlights for me, but for the most part, everything kind of was just, as Chardonnay does, everything was good in varying amounts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I thought this was so much fun. Like a fruit salad, just straight peach, Nectarine, fun, juicy, juicy, bright summer, good fun times. Yep, I'm super inclined to agree with you. I think I got a little bit gun shy with this because it was the first wine that we were tasting mm. today and I was like, oh, I don't want to pull the trigger on it so early. Yeah. Tasting back now, I think this is going to be my favourite of all the mm. wines. I, um, I have to agree with you. This th is just a fucking great time. This is when Chardonnay is like made by someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. It's mm. just so perfectly detailed. There's nothing like, there's not too much oak, there's not too much anything. Like there's a little bit of extra oak in here, but that's just the style thing, but it's not ridiculous. I think this is a banger and yeah, I, I really, really yeah. liked it. I think it's, this was, this is a Chardonnay I'd want to drink like every Friday. It's, it's so like good. It's like a glass of white wine, I want this. So good. I said it was Australian. I said it was Aussie as well. I said also said it was Australian. Oh my God, I'm so smart. I said it was from the Arab. We so could all be my, <laughs> But I thought I love this. I wanted six and I would pay $38 a bottle. Yeah, I I uh, want to change mine from six to probably a dozen now. Um, mm. But yeah, I had it as six. I had it for 30 bucks, but I've got a feeling these are all going to be really expensive. Yeah, I, I was half a dozen and I wanted 35 bucks. Uh, right. Yeah, I reckon some of these are going to be pretty, pretty up there. I think we're going to be at like 40 plus the whole way along. But we all agree, Aussie. Aussie. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Yarra Valley for me. What are we talking about? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Damn! Fuck yeah now. Awesome. Well, I'm not buying a dozen, not in this economy, <laughs> champion. Chance, mate. Do you want to go halves in a dozen? You can Even have- Even at that price, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it is Australian. I'll the top half of the bottles, you can have the bottom half you can the have them. You can have them Monday through Thursday, I'll have them Fridays and weekends. So it is Aussie. It is Aussie. It's Aussie. This nice. is Victorian. This is from Beechworth. Beechworth. Uh, one of my favourite little wine regions. Great wine region to visit, which you both get like great Australian history. Big it's a beautiful part of the world. Uh, but yeah, excellent, excellent Chardonnay has been for a long period of time. And this is uh, Vigneron Schmolzer and Brown, who make some really, really cool stuff. They make a lot of Fiano, a bunch of different other things. Nebbiolo too. But Number two. Uh, I didn't hate this. No. I loved this. Yeah, cool. I, the first three I thought were fucking stellar. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's just all like really bright, just enough acidity that I'm not offended by it, mm. but is like really refreshing, really fruity, juicy, fun, fun, happy, happy, yum, yum wine. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I, it, was, it gave me like pine lime cordial. Uh, yeah. Just like Great real, night. like a real summer smasher. Oh. Um, I thought it was from South Africa. Because yeah. it has a similar climate to Australia, but it's not quite the same. This, this could certainly be from South Africa. Mm. It's just certainly like, um, I think it's a great one. I think it's definitely that leaner style, that more kind of like citrusy, like a mm. little bit of like nice stone fruit thing. I thought it was, it was great fun. I really, really liked yeah. it. Not, I, I liked the first one a bit more, but this one's cool. Yeah, I, uh, I comparing the two of them, I think the first thing I got from this was it was like, yeah, as you're saying, thinner. So I got like mm. watery as my main note on it. But yeah. what you're saying there, like absolutely bang on. It's like Calippo, Pine Lime, yeah. all of that sort of stuff. Calippo is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was Argentinian because, <laughs> Right. It, it certainly can be. I right? didn't laugh at your guess, dude. What's up? Um, <laughs> well, 
Well, no. Like to be like, I just thought it's so niche, but you like, it's not like when I think of Chardonnay, I don't go straight to Argentina. No. But it certainly fucking could be from Argentina because it is light. It's like it's lean and altitudinal could uh, is very common in Argentina. So this kind of works. You will rue the day. Um, mm. If we're going New World, Old World uh, in that kind of order, I, I guessed Tassie initially when I tasted it. Mm. Um, I, I wanted three for 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, this could be like New Zealand or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I really liked it. Yeah, I should have gone New Zealand. That's much more likely than Argentina. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I had, I had it for one, but I've changed it to six for $40. Um, but yeah. Tasty wine. What do we got? Yeah. Seven oh. bucks. Damn, Shit. we're on here. Thanks, guys at Different Drop. This is very kind of you. Yeah, I got to number five and I was like, oh, these could all be really expensive. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Where's it from? This is from Tasmania. Nicely done, dude. Uh, this, Not South Africa. Uh, Not Argentina. This is a fucking excellent uh, wine. This is a uh, Stargazer. Uh, I, so I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she's an amazing female winemaker making some um, absolutely brilliant Pinot Noir and Chardonnay down in Tassie. Uh, super, super good. This stuff is made in minuscule quantities. We are very lucky to try this stuff. It's super, super good. Mm. Super cool. Wild ferment. I'll yum, be yum. taking this one home tonight. Thank yeah, you. you. You go for it. Number three. I thought that this smelled like the hardware that you get in an IKEA self building package. <laughs> you know, little, like, like dowels? dowels. What do you the dowels, have that literally. I, I got, got dowels written down. Yeah, I, I said uh, <laughs> on the nose, I got like burnt butter. Yeah. Yep. And yep. just oak. Yeah. Just straight wood. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're just, all saying wood. You're all saying Some more intellectual than others. On the, on the palate, I said sherbet. Just the, uh, yep. like, the, as soon as I swallowed it, I was like, I just ate a fucking whiz fizz. Yeah. Mm. This is like that real Chablis-esque, really kind of like super acidic, mineral, lean. Like, it's like we've gone from like, you know, somewhere medium to leaner, and this is the leaner again. This is like, and I see the dowel thing. It does have that kind of like, it smells like this table kind of yeah. thing. Ply. Like neutral plywood, neutral uh, oak. Yeah. And I'm, I'm this was my, most favorite of the lineup. Really? That is Amazing. Crazy. Cool. Yeah, I love won, that I for wanted you. 12. I thought it was so different to anything I would usually drink. Mm -hmm. And I didn't hate it, which means it was my favorite because I've fucking pushed the boundary. Yeah, yeah. I rate it. I, I love that for you. I thought it was South African because. Um, why not? And uh, I wanted one bottle of it for $45. Damn. Oh, it's nah. just so yummy. <laughs> it's so strange. I love it. Three for 35. I reckon this was local number. I reckon this was Adelaide Hills. Mm. I reckon this was Australian. I wanted 12 at $52 each. Nice. I'm not made of money, but if you want to give me 12 yeah. for yeah. free, I'll take that. 100%. Lucky. 22. Cool. <sighs> well priced. Well priced. Oh, real, real. $3 off, but real I think near. it's going to be from South Africa. Yeah. I mean, it could be. Brawn. Brawn Shardy from uh, the wonderful Margaret River. Hey, it's Australian. Uh, oh, so, oh, God damn it. So, so all it must have been like the Aussie, three Aussie, Aussie, Aussie and then oi, three. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so we've got Aussie, 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 and these are going to be our oi, oi, oi. Shit, that last one better be French or I'm up shit crazy. Oh, yeah, me too, honestly. <laughs> it certainly could be. Uh, so Trappist Scariot uh, makes some really cool wines. Grenache Blanc, one of our favourites, uh, makes some great Chenin out there as well. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome, like really good go-to style Chardonnay, I reckon. Well, if you like that leaner style and like salty style like Gemma, you're on. Considering it wasn't a favourite of your guys', I'll just take this one also. Yeah, it's Thank two for you. Man, your cart's really filling up this afternoon. Yeah. One number four yeah. sucks. 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 Tastes like a forest floor, like I've licked a goddamn damp tree. It's your favourite, wasn't it? Yeah, why not line up? <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. My, my first guess was, is this one of those weed wines? It smells, it smells so horrible. dank. It smells horrible. So yeah, look, it's it's reductive. It's got like like flinty, farty, farty thing. Yeah. In styles of wine like this, I fucking love that flavor. Nah. I think it's just like, you know, it, it indicates so many other things or like texture and nutty or like characters. I just like, I'm so okay for it. Like, I really, really love this wine. This is like, this is money wine. Oofed. We're on. I thought it was farts. It was $20 and I wanted one bottle. I didn't want a bottle. I, I just said, said one because- tastes like a tree. <laughs> tastes like a tree from Albania. $32, I'll take one. I'm, 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 I would love to know how you know what Albanian trees taste yeah. like. Uh, so we'll get into that later. Uh, uh, 90 bucks, 12, please. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you think it was from? Uh, France, I reckon this. If, oh. we're if we're lucky, this might be a little uh, entry level Berg. Oh! Uh, too expensive. Definitely not from Burgundy. No. Too expensive. Ah, uh, this is great value. 
It is from Marlborough. This is a uh, this is wonderful New Zealand gear. All right, wow. not, not Albanian. Definitely no. not Albanian. That's fucking crazy. I would have not expected that uh, from a New Zealand style Chardonnay. That is like, that's pretty opulent. Um, that's pretty cool. Opulent though. is certainly a word for it. I think yeah. it's flopulent. I think blank canvas Flatulent. is a really odd name for that wine as well, because I it's don't know, not. to me blank canvas is sort of like neutral. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this yeah. is giving a uh, Jackson Pollock, but bad. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, this one's mine. Yeah, right, that's so all good. <laughs> if you like drinking wine, you'll like this wine. If you're yeah. new to it, probably Big not. Big fans, come, come say good day. Yeah, exactly. How good. Uh, number five. Number five. Slapped. This was so much fun. Yeah. Now, this was pine lime again, but pine lime spliced with the ice cream. I'm getting big milk, big lactones. If that's applicable, it might yep. not be. Yeah, <laughs> that suits. Yeah, I reckon there was a little bit of that kind of extra dollopy uh, malo ferment going on here, so I think you're absolutely uh, spot on. Of course, on. the dollopy malo ferment. Just Absolutely. what I asked I'm, for. I'm going like dollop of cream kind of texture. Yeah, yeah. It was really like I got such yeah. big vanilla ice cream vibes. Yeah, but yeah. there's the it's same pine lime things earlier, and I'm like, oh, it's just a fucking splice. It's like artisan splice vanilla, vanilla on, yogurt. Yeah, on the nose, it gave that. As soon as I tasted it, I was like, oh, it's just honey. <coughs> mm. It's the jar of honey. Yeah, no, super yummy. I called it a night. Like, this is my favorite. Like, if I go to a pub and I order a glass of Chardonnay and I got this, I'd be like, yeah, yeah well That's kind of the vibe that I had with it. I thought it was just that great kind of like, you know, ah, yes, it's a it's lunch wine. And because I thought that, I was like, well, I'm getting everything wrong today. So I said $75 <laughs> and I'd like six bottles of it. I, I said, said it was Aussie as well. I, I thought it was Aussie. I said $27 because I wanted it to be cheap so I could buy some. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I thought it was from Western Australia, which is definitely wrong. Mm. Uh, and uh, 40 bucks for me um, was my hope for, because I think if that's the right price for that style. Uh, this is from uh, America, La Crema. Coast. One of the big, big dogs in um, uh, American wine, particularly in California. Well, La Crema, I'm going to say it's La Creamy. Yeah, no, nah, spot on. Yeah, exa no, they just moved, they misspelled it. It's actually La, La Creme. La Creme. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, American Chardonnay is one of those things where if, to get this at 50 bucks, particularly in Australia, is a blessing because American wines in this country are hellishly expensive. So this is actually pretty good value for money. It is that, that ultimate little lunch wine, just kind of just grab it and yeah. enjoy it. If you're, you if you're watching from the States though, grab some of that state side. That is oh. really yum. Like, yeah. It's really fun. And finally, yep. one number six. This is cool. I really like this. I don't know if I was just like desperate to like something because I'd written so many negative things down, but I was like, yeah, this is cool. I'm into it. Uh, yeah, I was. This was my uh, very close second favorite wine of the lineup. I thought this was this just was my, so beautiful. Uh, second to least favorite. Oh, Damn. I didn't love it. This had this like crushing acidity that I really mm -hmm. couldn't get around. Yeah, you're you're not an acid lover. It was big like honeydew rock melon. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, for sure. So I thought it was French, obviously. Yeah, I went French for this I went one. French as well. Hey. Oh my god, I just spent twenty-four dollars, which yep. seems ludicrous yeah. for a French wine. But ludicrous. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. no, yeah. I, I think, and I wrote down New Zealand was already guessed France, but my immediate thought was French. Very cool. I had six dollars for twelve bottles. I had, I think, I had sixty-five for twelve. I wanted two bottles at twenty-four dollars, which now, after saying French wine, doesn't make sense. Mm. No, you know, you can get I, cheap French wine. It can happen. It can wine. happen. Dad can drinks happen. a lot of cheap French rosé, which is... Ah, oh, yeah, Benjamin LaRue. This is French. French. This is Berg. Berg, baby. Uh, I remember when this one used to be 60 bucks. That was oh, a good time. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, excellent producer. Um, great way to... Ex uh, we've had this one before as well on the show uh, back in the day. Uh, but yeah, just, just a really great example of what Burgundy starts at. This is what Burgundy the is the beginning level. and then it just goes to ridiculous levels. Has um, it got floaters in it? No, that's, yeah, it does have some floaters in there. Wow. I've it's never seen lot. that in a Berg. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, had some tartrate dropout. Interesting. Uh, but that's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, if you are willing to treat yourself this holiday season, grab some Berg. Yeah. Um, if you feel like it. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, one of the lineup. It's going to be tricky. Yeah. We're, it's a toss up between two and three for me, personally. 
Well, I think, I honestly think number two was the most like consistent, but no one was really, oh, you raved about it, uh, didn't you? I loved number two. You mm. were at Seward Six on that. I'm happy to give it to the Stargazer. I think that like, as far as um, special little wines that we, we don't get to see too much of, and I'm always down for democracy in this one. I think it's banging. I think that's the consensus, but it sounds like if you were going to pick one, it'd be number four. Yep. I was going to pick one would be number one, and you were going to pick one would be two or three. Two. 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 So these would uh, everyone's favourite Chardonnay today in three different styles. So we got the the, the Martin the Martin Bre uh, the, sorry, the Marlborough uh, Chardonnay. We got a Beechworth, and we got a Tassie. Yeah. So if you really like your Chardonnay, and you if you really know the person, you know that they're like no one, yeah. and they like some interesting stuff. Get that. Otherwise, go for one of these two. You'll be much, you'll be much safer, <laughs> much trust me. Much more entry level. No with, farts. Much more approachable. With that being said, both of those are excellent fucking wines. Yeah, they are banging wines. Yeah, all three are awesome and just like just a good showcase of different styles. All right, Chardonnay done and dusted for another week. Chardon Slay. Chardon Slay. We'll see you next time, guys. Ciao. Ciao.